Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Oliver Anthony's new song, Brink of War. Let's see what he has to say. <clears throat> If it weren't for my old dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Cause every day living in the Wait, what did he say? If it wasn't for my what and my good Lord? Hold on. I want to go back. Old dogs and the good Lord. Old dogs? That makes sense because he's had dogs sitting around him in his previous videos that feel like they mean a lot to him, right? Okay. They'd have me strung up in the psych ward Cause every day living in this new world is One, two, many days to me Son, Woo! we're on the brink of the next world war And I don't think Listen, <laughs> I said who because I hit close to home I can't speak to the dogs if that is actually what he said. I'm pretty sure that's what he said because um, I don't I don't have dogs. But the good Lord, if it wasn't for the good Lord, I'm with him. They would have he said they would have me strung up in the in the in the psych ward. And I've talked about this before, just having something you can anchor to, something that means so much to you that will keep you going, something to drive you on the worst days that are just dragging you through the mud. And for me, that is uh, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Uh, so that just hit so close to home. I saw something, uh, recently on my YouTube shorts. Um, and I don't remember who said it, but they said America and more specifically Christians are on the brink of a spiritual war and America is meant to be founded on Christianity and it's meant, you know, it's Christian principles and, um, some argue that they've lost all the value in that and all of the, the, you know, what was meant to be good is gone. And Christianity, I hear this often. I used to, when I was, uh, at my home church in Atlanta, the pastor used to say all the time, like we're in a post, post Christian, post Christian society, meaning where the world used to kind of revolve on Christianity it's no longer that way. People are uh, either in going toward other religions that they feel are actually more dedicated to their principles and their God or gods or, you know, the things that they preach and um, or they're just leaving the church and leaving any kind of uh, supernatural belief behind. And so it's, it's making for the world to kind of become this place without a moral compass or values or anything positive and um the short was just saying like it's hard now for christians true christians who really are not trying to like shame people and throw the bible in people's face but really just trying to like spread goodness and love and um you know the true principalities of Christianity, they're, they're at war because they're fighting and having to like answer these questions. It's like, you know what? You're right. Like Christianity is failing not only it's Christians, but the world. And because of it, you see all of this evil, ugly darkness. And whether you believe in Christianity or not, you have to understand and agree with me that this world is not a pretty place these days. Um, it's just full of so much darkness. And again, no matter what you believe in, I'm not here to try to convert you into anything, but no matter what you believe in, um, the goal should never be a world full of hate, violence, anger, you know, f fueled by people's opinions and who thinks they're right and they're wrong and all, all, all of the things that we see every single day when we open our eyes and turn on our phones or the news or such and such, so. I'm only 25 seconds into this song and I've already gone on to a full rant. I really enjoy Oliver Anthony. Um, I think he has a message and I think he's he's very purposefully delivering his message um, and very humbly too. Like I don't think he wants anything in return. I think he just wants to sing about the things that he wants to sing about and he sings about them gorgeously. Steps on so fast. next world war and I don't think nobody's praying no more and I ain't 
saying I know it for sure I'm just down on my knees Begging Ooh, the Lord to take me home I want to go home Did I just burp? Yes, I'm sorry. Am I very pregnant? Yes, I'm not sorry. <laughs> the bodily functions just do what they want, all right? <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but like my throat just went like the whole frog. Um, I love this. I love this. This is, this is sometimes all you can do is get down on your knees and say, God, you know, like whenever you're ready to come rapture us all up out of here, put me first in line, okay? Put me first in line. Um, I don't know if I... I don't know. He said we're on the brink of the next world war. And, you know, I've heard that before, too. I don't know how close we are or not. Um, but some days it does feel like, my goodness, my goodness. This world is broken. And it hurts. And that is war. That is, doesn't have to be actual physical, you know, war. But whenever there is this kind of tug or pain or or anything it, it, it feels like war especially when you're you're connected or anchored to something and you know what should be isn't that feels like war internally i don't know which road to go it's been so long i just know i didn't used to wake up feeling this way right cousin myself Every damn day, See? there's always some kind of bill to pay. People just doing what the rich man say. I want to go home. I want to go home. That's, that's deep. I want to go home. He just pours out emotion. Like it oozes out of him. That Bill's line, he's saying he's got bars. Like he low-key has bars like a rapper. That line about the Bills. Um, I used to have a coworker and his daughter, very young, at a very young age, uh, came home one day and said, Bills, I'll never forget this story he told. He said, she said, Bills, 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 nothing to Bills. <laughs> he was like, what are you talking about Bills? And she was like, just always bills and he was like what do you mean he's like she she said all you talk about is bills 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 nothing to bills and it broke his heart it was cute but in that moment like your three-year-old recognizing that all you talk about is bills heartbreaking heartbreaking that so many of us are living to survive and we're not actually living our lives we're not actually able to live the life we were meant to live because we have to survive every single day. Oh, it's gut wrenching and so true. Now, four generations farming the ground, grandson sells to a man out of town, and two weeks later. Trees go down. Only got concrete growing around. I want to go home. This boy can see. I want to go home. Uh. I don't know which road to go. It's been so long. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way. Cussing myself. Every damn day, people have really gone and lost their way. Ooh, ooh, in their minds, their way, and their minds. I ooh, people just really losing their way in their minds and just doing what the TV says. Everyone believes everything they see immediately. If it's a headline, it must be facts. It must be facts. And forget what you believe in your heart. And that's that's really, I think, for me, something I've learned so much. A lot of here on this channel is like the world will really tell you what you're supposed to believe based on your age, your gender, your skin color, your religion. The world will really tell you. But when is the last time you checked in with yourself and said, but what do I know to be true? What do I know I believe? 
What do I stand firm on? And again, this is why it's so important to have something to anchor to because you have nothing to anchor to. It's so easy to be influenced and your mind to be changed and tricked by anyone and everything that pops up as a headline. Any TikTok that comes at you with a conspiracy theory or some type of random person that you don't even know that has decided this is the reason why or this is the answer why and you believe it because you don't have something that you're anchored to. And our poor children, the poor children of this earth who really, oh, really have an uphill battle, especially when it comes to the media and social media and opinions and all the things that are overexposed to them way too soon. Jesus. They all just do what the TV say. I wanna go home. <laughs> like the angst. And so I would love to know for those of you who aren't believers in like heaven or Christianity or, you know, afterlife, what do you think he means by I want to go home? I think I, again, because I have my belief system, I know what I think he means by I want to go home. But I'd love to know if you don't believe um, in heaven and that that is where you live eternal life. So that is your actual home. What do you think he means by I want to go home? Is he talking about physical, like earthly home that you go home to every day and just hide because the world sucks? Or what do you think? I'd love to know. If it weren't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Just simple and plain music. Simple, plain message. Simple, plain vocals. Everything is just so organic. That's really, it feels so earth connected and organic and true and real. Um, and I, I like enjoy him. So anytime I see something pop up of him, I feel like we, we're going to watch it. We are. You, you bet your bottom dollar. We are watching it. All right, friends? Um, anyway. Be a good person, spread light, spread love, do the best that you can and go and have the day that you deserve. Peace.